So let's start with my haul from the SM store. So actually, this, this is the stationery section, which is, I think, located... Uh, I forgot which floor, but I went to the SM Mega Mall branch, which is relatively a big one. Um, I have been here a couple of times, actually, but the stocks are replenished every so often. So what I've seen from last year, of course, wouldn't be here anymore. And at the same time, the designs fluctuate also, like... I was expecting to find a bit more like vintage elements or more minimalist style stickers but what I found are mostly like um, unicorns, pastels, and sort of glittery gold aesthetic kind of thing so that's what I decided to pick up for this haul and this spread so I decided to go for a bit of an astrology spread because I have done one previously and I wanted to show what other ways you can actually uh, journal about your zodiac signs if you're interested in that thing for me personally it's also a way to discover more about yourself so let me just share that i got this journal it was on sale i think it was like 160 pesos instead of 200 something pesos which is actually pretty great because the paper quality is good there's um a bunch of different pages so there's line there's blank and there's grid i don't know if i am that kind of person who likes having all of these in one notebook but the cover is actually cloth so i really like the pattern on it so this washi tape is also pretty unique i've never seen something like this and it reminds me of you know very much like astrology and i have been on the hunt for mystical slash sparkly slash like pastel and metallic sort of uh washi tape designs because that's quite rare to find because usually when you see in stores it's usually just the plain colored ones and pattern ones but not much of this like mystical or in my case because i also actively don't look for them when i shop online so i also got this kai um brush pen koi i'm sorry i didn't know what color i wanted so i just got like a basic pink and i got this coco um tech pen i remember using this when i was in high school so I really like that it's still available and I think it only costs like 25 pesos and I also got this Tabula Boss um, yellow highlighter because it's a very rare color there are neons and dandelion yellows but not really primary yellow so I'm gonna start with um, doing some brush lettering for me um, when you are in uh, you're not having too much materials I think it's great for you to experiment on your lettering I mean personally what got me into journaling is actually the fact that I do lettering on my journals way before I got into stationery. I mean, that's a whole other world. So I try to incorporate a lot of my lettering as much as I can because that way it also helps round out the piece and make your spread look more appealing. So I always, always say that when you do hand lettering, it's really important to sort of um, create hierarchies and make it stand out in a spread like this so that's why i decided to use the pinks and the yellows for more of like sub designs but i mean this is really subjective on how you want to decorate your spread i personally like this and the reason why i got these colors is for me to actually work around the colors in such a way that you know i can use the tech pen for outlines i can use this light pink for a bit of embellishments but also as a header and also this um, primary yellow is really good for stars because you know stars are supposedly yellow in in the drawing context but in real life i don't know definitely not so anyway i'm just going to dive in and write about my zodiac sign i think i've mentioned this a lot of times before but my zodiac sign is sort of my perception is it's a personal um reflection of who i am mostly because i resonate well with my sun moon and rising and as much as sometimes i really hate it i mean it's something i have to live with so i always try to put it somewhere and for me it's also how i manage energies with people i am not the type who can get along with a lot of people i don't know if that that's a good thing or a bad thing but personally i am more able to filter out the type of people i am more comfortable with and how they perceive me and i don't think um it's a common thing to talk about but you know sometimes when i meet people i'm like so when's your birthday then i automatically calculate their zodiac signs and ask them about it 
Um, firstly, for me, my biggest struggle is actually being a um, moon in Libra, which means I'm very indecisive. And I always rely on other people's opinions to sort of sway me. So I used to be like that. And I am trying my best to really um, stick within my own means of knowledge and also my own beliefs. Because that's something I'm also trying to build. As um, ironic as this sounds, I sound like a person who's very confident, but I actually have very low self-esteem. I'm growing up in a very um, perfectionist environment in school. I think that really shaped my way of thinking into thinking that people are supposed to be at this level of perfect or you know be at this you know if you're not like that you will never achieve it and i wasn't really you know a very highly achiever person when i was in school i mean now i am but it's not because of grades it's just my personal way of um, going after what i want and my dreams but again that's become really a big challenge for me and my challenge is always to tell myself that you know I have to take it one day at a time and growing up i found out that a capricorn is actually like that which explains why i am such an achiever and as much as i like it i don't want to be too tied in it so this is my final um, output for this page i hope you enjoyed this will be the last of the journaling on a budget series for now if you want to know more and have more suggestions please feel free to comment down below Thank you so much for watching this video and in the next clip I will be showing the price breakdown.